Hi. Let us today discuss about typhoid fever in simple words. We will know about its cause, spread, symptoms and treatment. Typhoid fever is caused by Salmonella typhi and Paratyphi. Salmonella spreads through contaminated water. It infects you when you drink water contaminated by fecal matter of typhoid patients. Additionally it is also caused by contaminated food. Food can be contaminated by poor hand hygiene or the flies. Street food is a common cause. Vegetables grown on contaminated water may cause typhoid. Countries with poor access to clean drinking water suffer a lot. Fever is a characteristic of typhoid fever like any other infective illness. This fever is mild to moderate grade initially which may progress to high grade fever which may remain continuous or may be intermittent. Fever may be associated with chills. It may reach to 104 degree Fahrenheit. Headache is another important symptom of the typhoid. Headache is more when there is fever. Headache is generally mild to moderate grade. Muscular pain may occur. It is more severe when you have fever. Muscles of limbs like legs and arms and back may pain. This muscle pain may give you feeling of fatigue. Feeling of muscular pain and fatigue progresses over few days and you may feel weak because of illness. You may not be able to perform your day-to-day -day activities. Abdominal or stomach pain other important characteristic. Initially it may be mild but may progress to severe in complicated cases. It may be associated with nausea and vomiting. Loss of appetite is marked and you may not be able to eat your favorite food. There is tiredness, fatigue, weakness with excessive sweating. You may appear exhausted and sick. Weight loss is another characteristic. You may lose weight because of loss of appetite and ongoing illness and dehydration. Diarrhea may appear in the illness and some patients may have constipation. Constipation followed by loose motions is a common scenario in majority of cases. Few patients in initially have cough and cold typically like upper respiratory tract infection. Blood culture, urine or stool culture may suggest the diagnosis. Some patients may need bone marrow examination. Patients who are sick and are not able to eat food and take medicines at home should admit it to the hospital. Sick patients need intensive monitoring and injectable medicines with intravenous fluids to correct the dehydration. Antibiotic injections are treatment of choice along with symptomatic treatment for admitted patients. Definitive treatment with antibiotic along with symptomatic treatment and supportive treatment is the mainstay to cure. For patients who are not very sick the home-based treatment can be provided with oral medicines. Antibiotic pills along with symptomatic treatment is suggested. Additionally you should be well hydrated and drink plenty of water and oral fluids. You should take leave from your workplace and take rest at home. Moving in hot or cold weather may precipitate the illness. Rest helps to recover the body and increases the effectiveness of the treatment. Simple food hygiene and hand washing may prevent you suffering from typhoid. You should have less spicy and easily digestible diet along with plenty of fluid. Typhoid vaccine is available and you should take it if you are staying or going to visit endemic area.